In my industry, arboriculture, the study of trees, we are forever trying to find cures for problems, diseases, insects, etc. Well, when it comes to insects, you know, the industry of insecticides has grown exponentially and people are spraying all these horrible toxic stuff all over the world, which is getting into our water. So I don't want to talk about chemicals, but there are so many diseases out there that we have no idea how to fix it. You know, we've got fungal diseases, we've got bacterial diseases, we've got diseases that are being transmitted by the insects that turn into fungal diseases or bacterial diseases. But we think about treating trees a lot like people think about treating people, and, and they're so different, okay? For, for instance, people get a wound, it heals, it grows back, and in most cases, it goes back to normal. Where a tree, when it gets a wound, it encapsulates that wound and surrounds it and continues to grow, but that wound is permanent. The decay that develops, the problems that develop, the insects that inhabit that decay pocket, that is forever. <laughs> Big difference. So when it comes to serious diseases, um, we're kind of stuck in the industry. You know, that most diseases, you know, there's not a lot we can do about it. But today, I want to talk about, I'm going to use the word, cure. I came across something interesting, very interesting. One of my clients came up with an idea that I want to share with you today about how she cured a fatal disease on her live oak trees. There was about six of them that were on their way out, and she fixed it. Fixed it? Come watch. Now the forests of the world are being decimated by insects and disease. And there's one big disease problem that's recognized as Phytophthora remorum, otherwise sudden oak death, that is killing millions and millions of trees. There's a dead one right there. See that tan oak? Big problem. We're working on solutions, but have not found one yet. Now I want to talk about another disease. It's called foamy bark canker. And stop the video anytime to read this if you want. This is a UC extension right up on this disease. It's caused by insects that introduce this bacteria that is fatal to trees. And I've got a client who had a number of trees that were dying. So these are pictures that she sent me from two years ago. You see those little foamy pockets there? That's where the insects bore in and the Bacterial infection that gets started there, it creates this canker that causes the tree to go into decline and her trees were screaming help for help. Here's where they were oozing and running down the bark. This is early, this is what it looks like at the beginning. So here's what she did. I am blown away by this whole idea. Her name is Anna and I give Anna some credit for doing something that I have not seen anybody try before. What she did well, she got a small propane torch and she went out and she said two to three seconds for every spot and she scorched the bark on these trees. And in her mind, theoretically, she killed the insect and sterilized the infection. Well, that was two years and two months ago that this happened and the trees look great, except for all these little black spots. So did she fix the tree? or will the burn cause future damage? Well, time will tell, but as far as I can tell, so far, so good. While I was there, I did some work for her and I got up in the bucket as I often do, and I like to show sort of a scan around the area. It gives you guys a better idea of what type of an area I'm working in. You can see all the different types of trees that are out there. Everything from oak trees to big conifers, the redwoods, the pines, the you know, the odd trees, the, you know, unusual species that grow so well in our Mediterranean climate. Sorry about this video clip here. I was holding the camera the wrong way, but I wanted to show this one tree where we did something a bit unusual. It was not a big tree, but it was an awkward one to work in because, you know, it's almost easier to cut down a bigger tree because you got a lot of good places to tie in and stand on. Oh, well, these are some ash trees, and I got it down to this point here and i could have gone up there and chunked it down one piece at a time but i decided to do something a little bit different so 
watch me follow along with this and you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this and it's probably nothing new to experienced tree guys but uh, I, you know I set the camera down and took a few minutes to make this cut and it worked out really really well Now I'm using the electric saw, which I'm saying is a mistake. I should have used a gas saw for this. But what I do is you make a cut at an angle so it drops off and hits the ground quickly and holds it straight up and down. Oh, just watch. You'll see what happens. Now at this point, Jorge made the very smart decision to kick a couple of boards up underneath it to make cutting up firewood a whole lot easier. Little things like that, keeping it up off the ground can sure speed up your job. And this little trick, it sped up our job quite well. Okay, if you've been following my channel for a long time, you know I put a lot of effort into educating people about trees and tree care. And if you want to support my channel, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video here that you can support me. You can help me out by going and buying me a cup of coffee. <laughs> It's easy, it's cheap, I need the support, I appreciate the support, and please tell a friend, please subscribe, hit that little bell up there to give you an indicator of the next video, you know the routine. Help me build this channel, would you? Thank you.